Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. Today we have an unboxing, and this one, from the looks of it, it looks like maybe not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it looks like maybe it's an animation cell, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Alrighty, let's slice it open and see what's inside. Some goodies, I hope. Is it goodies? Is it goodie? Is it singular? Is that a plural? We shall find out. I like goodie when they are quality. I like goodies, well, when they're quality as well. Uh, but if they're gonna be less quality, might as well give me goodies because then it eases the burden of not having the most quality piece and giving me some quantity. But anyway, here we are. And we've got a box wrapped in some tissue paper. Where's that line from? Tissue paper. That is a Galaxy Quest original. I love me some Galaxy Quest. That's a, that's a great movie. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. Um, but I also beseech you, uh, what rock has hast thou been living under? If you haven't seen it. Let me see if this is slide outable. Nope, I'm gonna probably have to open up here. Might as well be safer than, safer than sorrier. More sorriest. You can see it says Ren and Stimpy. That makes me happy because I like Ren and Stimpy. Okay, I'm just gonna carefully slice this open over here so that it is completely detached. There we go. All right, well, let's take a look. It is an animation cell and it is George Licker. Now, you might not know who this is. This is a character from Ren and Simpy, obviously, because it's got the Ren and Simpy Certificate of Authenticity, but this is one of those kind of, I, I mean, I'm gonna say controversial characters. He's not super controversial, but he kind of is. Uh, uh, this was one of those characters that I think John K1 in the show, I think it might have, if I remember the history correctly, maybe kind of been in uh, a resemblance to maybe his dad or father figure or something like that. And he was kind of, in the show, kind of a, a jerk, kind of loud, obnoxious. And so I think some people didn't, oh, it's multiple cells, I didn't even know that. Um, some people thought that he, he was a little bit too violent and vivacious and all those things. However, comma, it's one of those uh, characters that because of that kind of history behind it, you don't see a lot of them coming up for a sell. And uh, it's uh, it's one of those, I wanna have one of every character from a show that I like, or at least the characters that I really liked or gravitated towards. Um, wasn't a big fan of this guy myself, but this is a super, super sell. I mean, it's big, his eyes are wide open, his mouth is wide open, and I didn't know, I thought this was a single cell. I don't know for what reason, I because usually mouths are separate, um, and we also then have, I believe the eyes are separate here, and if I remember from just looking, I don't think, ooh, this one is caught just a little bit. Oh, it's four cells! Okay, hold on a second, I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna see if I can remove this at all and how stuck it actually is. I usually prefer to unstick cells if I can. There is a little paint, this was this was not me that did this. There's a, a little white paint that has come off. You can see those spots there, it has come off the cell. So I, I probably should leave those together. I'm just looking real quick to see if there's any give at all on these. Um, because if I can separate them, then I can frame them so um, that they're, ooh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I can see it's all right coming up on that one side. If I can separate, I like to, to do that to prevent further damage, but this is um, going to lift up the paint on the other eye. So I'm gonna have to leave these two probably separate, which is not so bad. Um, you know, having, it's a four cell setup, having two of the, or three of the cells actually separated is really good. And then here's just his body out there. I thought this was one cell. Again, don't know why. If it was more than a, a one cell, sometimes the body and the head would be together. Uh, and that you might have that facial expressions on one. So the fact that there's four cells here is f four times the stuff I was thinking of. If I had think, been thinking clearly, it would be, you know, like one third minus carry the five or, you know, <laughs> it would be, you know, double the amount of cells because I thought there'd be maybe two cells that were involved. One with the face and the body and one with the, um, the eyes and the mouth. But yeah, that's super awesome. I don't have a George Licker in my collection yet. This is the first one, uh, uh, four cells. And it's amazing how many, like, you know, when you get one cell, it's one thing, but four cells together has a little bit of weight to it. It's amazing how heavy this is actually compared to just having a one cell setup. It's amazing how quickly that adds together. 
So yeah, super excited about this one. I can't wait to get it framed up and into the collection. I have a variety of Ren and Stimpy artwork and everything from sketches to cells, a lot of different characters, but as I said, I don't have a George Licker. Uh, and you know what's one of those things that I, I want to I wanna at least have one of every character, one of every major thing. This is a huge, nice looking cell, um, and it's to a character that I don't currently have. And frankly, it's hard to find. This is the first time I've ever seen one um, that was up for sale currently. You know, you see past listings or posts or something like that. This is the only one that I saw currently up for a uh, list in years. I mean, since I've been collecting it. So when I saw it, I had to snag it. I got it. Happy to add it to my collection. Thanks for watching this unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy our other videos, whether it be animation cells or book looks or movie posters, also vintage action figures like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all that other stuff. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and those sorts of things, and we will see you next time right here on the Pop Art Hunter channel. Oh,